So today we're going to cover some CT dose. So what factors affect the dose in CT? How do we monitor CT dose? What is MSAD? Describe DLP. What is CTDI value for head and body? And how would you calculate CTDI in your clinic? So what factors affect the CT dose? So the tube potential is a, a big one. So our dose for our CT is proportional to KVP squared. So important to keep that in mind. The exposure time is important because similarly, dose here is proportional to MAS, also the beam quality, the distance from the source, and the patient size and anatomy all go into what CT dose is. So now how do we monitor this? So we have something called the CT dose index, CTDI. It is a dose from a single axial scan at a particular depth. Now CTDI is D times L over T where D here is the dose measured in the chamber. L is the length of the pencil ion chamber that we're using. Typically, all the ones I've seen are 10 cm, but they may vary. And then T is the width of the beam. So we also have a CTDI. It's weighted. That's what this W stands for. And that is one-third the CT. DI of the center, and that is added to two-thirds CTDI of the periphery. So we have a phantom, one that kind of looks like a donut, and it's got a bunch of holes, actually only four holes, for the ion chamber. And then there's another chamber that is smaller that can fit within this donut, and it uh, has similarly it has some plugs in the center and you can ultimately put your pencil chamber in all of these. And that is how you determine what CTDI weight it is. So now similarly, what is this? That stands for multiple scan average dose. So this defines the dose at a depth from a full CT scan. Now MSAD, how I'm going to write it here, is equal to the CTDI weighted, so that's CTDIW, divided by the pitch of the CT table. So that is over infinite length. And sometimes this is also called CTDI vol, and that stands for volume. So now what is DLP? I'm going to have to hop over here. DLP is the dose, dose length product. This measures total radiation exposure from a series of scans. So the DLP is the CT DI vol. And that is, again, similar to MSAD. It is the CT DI weighted divided by the pitch. And that's multiplied by the irradiation length. So what is the CTDI value for a head scan and a body scan? So this is important to give you and the examiner a sense of you have some general idea of what these values are. And that shows that you have done this clinically, that you understand it. And it's not like you're saying, oh yeah, that one CT is going to give you two gray of dose. That would be nuts. So the head, that is 80 milligray. Notice we said milligray here. And then a body is 30 milligray. And then how would you calculate CTDI in your clinic? As I kind of mentioned over here, you're going to use a pencil chamber in a lucite chamber. That's typically uh, what these are, or I should say a, a lucite phantom. And these have different uh, circular phantoms. Typically the outer diameter here um, is 32 cm. And then the inner one is something like 16. Just know they can go into each other and there are plugs 
to put in here when you are not using that hole for the chamber. You take a series of readings. Ideally, you do this in your clinic and then you would know, but be sure you understand it, have seen it, know what, how to do it in theory if you don't do this in your clinic and be able to verbally explain it. So that is CTDI. If you have any comments, please post below. Thank you and we'll see you in the next video.